Thomas Edison was born in Milan, Ohio on February 11, 1847 to Samuel and Nancy Edison, who fled to the U.S. for rebellion against the British government. Edison was the last child of seven children and he was a curious child who tried different things that got him into trouble often. His teachers couldn't handle his many inquisitive questions and so, only a few months in school, he was withdrawn and his mother homeschooled him. Edison spent time reading many scientific textbooks and his curiosity and love for experimenting with things around him was all the more fueled. One big challenge Thomas had was a hearing impairment due to scarlet fever and infection. He eventually got a college education at a private college in the 19th century known as the Cooper Union. In spite of his very eventful and challenging childhood and failing several times working on his inventions, Thomas Edison built a lab at the Mellon Park where he worked with his over 50 member staff and kept on experimenting. Thomas went on to invent over 1,000 patents. The world owes the availability of electricity bulbs to Thomas Edison and he is celebrated as one of the greatest inventors in the history of mankind. Today, so many young people complain about one thing or the other. Everybody has a devil who is keeping him poor. Everybody has someone to be blamed for their failures. But the truth is, you own yourself everything. Your teachers may not believe in you. Your friends may not believe in you or even your parents. As long as you believe in yourself, you'll wake up every day to dare life, try things, make mistakes and move forward, one step at a time. Roy T. Bennett said and I quote, You are braver than you think, more talented than you know, and capable of more than you imagine. The problem with most of us is that we allow other people's opinions to become a testament to our life. If you want to achieve greatness, you'll have to change that. But you'll ask me, okay, how do I start or where can I start? Let me remind you about what Francis of Assisi said, start doing what's necessary, then do what's possible and suddenly you are doing the impossible. Don't concern yourself with how big your dreams are. Look for ways to take the first step, then the second one, and the third. Wake up every day to do something about your dream and ignore the naysayers. One day, you'll look back and wonder how fast the journey is. Thomas Edison said, if we did all the things we are capable of, we would astound ourselves. George Bernard Shaw wrote and I quote, People are always blaming their circumstances for what they are. I don't believe in circumstances. The people who get on in this world are the people who get up and look for the circumstances they want. And if they can't find them, make them. Let go of who you are. Get up and pursue who you want to be. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We will like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.